Hey folks, what's going on? Boris here at your College of Design Studio. Today we're going to master the craft of amortization schedules. This is very helpful if we're dealing with mortgage payments or any payments that involve interest and principal components. We'll go over how to make an amortization spreadsheet step by step. Uh, the file I have open right now is available for free on our website. Check out the description below for a link if you'd like to follow along or play around on it. Let's jump right in. We have column A and we see the number of periods in months. Uh, I have a 30 year monthly loan, so that equals to 360 periods. In column B, we have the beginning loan balance of $175,000, but it can be anything you want. This number is whatever you're working with at the moment. We will fill in the remaining cells in this column once we have calculated the ending loan balance. Column C is your discount factor at 8%. The percentage can vary to anything. Usually the discount rate is the treasury bill rate or the rate determined by the Government Accountability Office or the Office of Management and Budget. They use high discount rates. The Environmental Protection Agency and other agencies use a lower discount rate. Personally, I prefer to use the treasury rate. In this case, however, think of it as the interest rate charged by the loan institution. So if this is a house mortgage, then the bank is the institution that determines this rate. They base their rate on several factors. The base is the risk-free rate, usually the 30-year treasury bill rate. Then they add in inflation. After that, they add in the risk to make the loan, and I mean uh, this in general market terms. Now the person taking the loan comes into play. Uh, their credit score, education, marital status, delinquencies, criminal record, and so on. All this is used by the bank to determine the rate they charge a consumer. 8% is a bit high, as I believe the current rate is somewhere around 5%. The formula for this column is, uh, we click in cell C3, press the equal sign to begin a formula, and type uh, parentheses 1 divided by another parentheses 1 plus another parentheses 0 0.08 divided by 12, and remember to close all three parentheses, to the power of A3. Uh, that is the, the time period that we're dealing with, so we're raising it to the power of T. Uh, press enter, and we now have our discount factor for the first year. Uh, what you can do is you can double click on the fill handle, and all the values down below for all 360 periods will be filled in automatically by Excel. Column D is our total payment. It's the sum of columns F and E, our principal and our interest. Alternatively, we can derive this number by dividing B3, the original loan amount, by C363, or the sum of all discount factors. We use this to determine our monthly payments across all 30 years. So press enter to begin a formula and type dollar sign B dollar sign 3 divided by dollar sign C dollar sign 363. We use absolute cell references to lock in those numbers. Now that we have calculated our monthly payment uh, for the first cell, we can double click on the fill handle and Excel will fill out all the cells below that uh, with the same formula automatically for us. Next is column E. Uh, this is where our interest payments go. And it makes me kind of sad every time I look at it because I think, man, without interest, we could pay this baby off in less than half the time. Uh, and it's, it's true, just take a look at this. Uh, towards the end of the tutorial, we'll see that we're paying about $100 in principal. Uh, so we're reducing our loan from $175,000 to $174,900. But we're paying almost $1,200 in just interest alone, which goes straight to the bank and we get nothing for it, no equity in your new home. Uh, that's why my humble advice to you is to put a 50% down payment. Uh, that's right, 50%. If you can get 20%, uh, then you, we can wait and get 40 And if we can get 40 uh, we can surely get 10 more. I'd rather uh, live in a small apartment and pay the true cost of my home than buy a house three times over. Uh, and as we'll see towards the end of this tutorial, the total cost of the house, the total amount of money we're paying uh, is down in cell D363. Uh, it'll be around $462,000. When we only borrowed $175,000, we paid four hundred and sixty-two. dollars That doesn't sound like a great deal to me. Anyone that tells you, hey, that's just the cost of doing business, that's, uh, that's the way the world works. Look right at them and call them out on their uh, BS because that's not how the world works, or at least that's not how it should work. We pay almost $300,000 in interest alone to buy a $175,000 house. We got a better idea. I'll save my money paying cheap rent and get to $175,000 myself. 
uh, and keep a decent portion of that 300000 for myself and my family, or I just buy a cheaper house, uh, then and uh, you'd be better off financially for you and your children's future. Also, never get a 30-year mortgage. That's not the standard. I don't know why they push that uh, stuff onto consumers. Nobody decided that 30 years was the way to go except the bank um, because the bank is financially better off. 30 years is not the standard. Um, always get a 15-year mortgage. You will have higher payments, yes, but you're paying a lot less in interest uh, and you're done worrying in half the time uh, and you end up paying a lot less money overall. But I digress, the formula for this cell, press enter to begin a formula and type uh, B3 times parentheses 0 0.08 divided by 12 and close your parentheses, press enter and then double click on the fill handle in that cell to fill all the cells below with the same formula. The cells below are going to be blank, don't worry, once we fill in uh, column B with the beginning loan balance, uh, then we'll those cells will be filled out automatically and also uh, you don't have to type in the 0 0.08 every time you can use a, a separate cell somewhere off to the side maybe h2 or h1 and type the interest rate there and then use that cell as a reference column f is our principal column and the formula here is the total payment minus the interest so equals d3 minus e3 and press enter and again we can double click on the fill handle and Excel fills it out automatically. Uh, these numbers will change because there's nothing here for interest um, to subtract just yet. And column G uh, contains our ending loan balance after principal reductions. The formula here is equals B3 minus F3. Again enter and double click on the fill handle. Not to worry, you see a lot of negative numbers down here. Uh, Excel is freaking out because there is nothing here in column B. So what we have to do is we have to type in equals uh, G3. So what we do is we carry the ending loan balance of the previous period into the beginning loan balance of the next period. And now that we've done that, we can double click on the fill handle of cell B4 and everything below that will be filled out quite nicely. And as we see, we begin with a loan of $175,000 with an 8% interest rate. Our total monthly payment is $1,284.09. That does not change. We pay the same amount every month. In the beginning, a huge portion of that is just interest alone, uh, $1,166.67. The principal reduction in the first period is only $117.42 and our ending loan balance is $174,882.58. That's because the interest does not reduce our loan. The interest is something, it's the cost of doing business with the bank, is the cost of taking out the loan. We're almost done. I'll show you a quick trick. Select the range A1 through G2, then go to the View tab in your ribbon select freeze panes and choose the first option now the first two rows and several additional ones are locked in so when you scroll down to the bottom as i am now you can see the equations and the headings of the first columns uh, and you can reference them so you don't forget now we're at the bottom let's take a quick look at what we have in the formulas in the in the bottom cells we have our total discount factor at around 136 we have 462 thousand dollars in uh, total payments that's uh, interest and principal combined we have $287,000 in just interest and our $175,000 loan principal. As you can see, our final balance in the 360th period is zero. We've paid everything off. And in the allotted time period, the formula for all the cells at the bottom uh, is just some column, whatever column you're working in, one through 362, or you can also use the auto sum function. Uh, you can find the formulas in the description below this video and this Excel workbook will be available for free on our website. I hope this helps you in your projects. And as always, thank you for watching folks. I'll see you next time on our Ecology Designs production.